Sorry, I know my penmanship could have been better. Please forgive me. Let's read through this fun little problem, and I invite you to give it a try yourself. For how many ordered integer pairs is this expression, a cubed plus b cubed divided by a minus b, a perfect square? So there are a few possibilities here. Either we need to prove that there are no ordered integer pairs that make this expression a perfect square, thus showing that there are zero solutions, or or we need to find every solution and count them, or we need to show that there are infinitely many solutions to this situation. It's always a good idea to start off by trying some simple examples. Let's say that we plug in a equals five and b equals two. So this is our ordered integer pair. Then what does the expression evaluate to? Well, it's a cubed plus b cubed divided by a minus b. So based on plugging this in, what we get is five cubed plus two cubed divided by five minus two. So let's just put a three down there. Five cubed, of course, is 125, and two cubed is eight. So 125 plus eight divided by three. This is 133 over three. That is definitely not a square. It's not even an integer. So this ordered pair does not work. Hmm, so what sorts of pairs should we be plugging in here so that we can even get an integer that might be a square. Well, if we try letting a be a multiple of b, then this would be a multiple of b, and this would be a multiple of b, and the denominator 2 would be a multiple of b. So we might get some cancellation there that would give us some insight to our solution. So then let's try this more general integer ordered pair. We'll have b, and a is going to be some arbitrary multiple of b, say mb, and we'll plug this into our expression and see what we get and what we can conclude. So plugging this into our expression in the numerator, we have mb cubed plus b cubed, and this is divided by mb minus b. Then of course, mb cubed is m cubed b cubed. So in the numerator, we have m cubed b cubed plus b cubed. So we'll be able to factor b cubed out of the numerator. And in the denominator, let's factor out that b from both terms. So we have b times m minus one. Then as we said in the numerator, we'll factor out a b cubed. So we're going to have b cubed multiplied by m cubed plus one. And in the denominator, we still have that b times m minus one. So then we see no matter what m is, of course it can't be one, but aside from that, no matter what m is, we will at least have a factor of b canceling out here in the numerator and denominator. So in the numerator, we would have b squared times m cubed plus one. And in the denominator, we would just have m minus one after doing that cancellation. So then what's the obvious choice for m? I think clearly the obvious choice is to to try m equals 2. That way, the denominator is guaranteed to be 1, and this expression will always be an integer. Of course, being an integer is important because it can't be a square at all if it's not an integer, but let's see how this relates to the squares. If m is equal to 2, then this denominator is 1, and we don't have to write it, and what will be left is b squared times 2 cubed plus 1. 2 cubed is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, so what's left is 9b squared. And yes, of course, that is a square number. It's 3b squared. So for how many ordered integer pairs is this expression a perfect square? Well, we've just found that the answer is in fact infinitely many. Any ordered integer pair of the form 2b b, where b is not equal to zero, is going to cause the expression to be a perfect square. Because as we saw, if a is a multiple of b and b is not equal to zero, we end up getting here where it's clear that if the multiple m happened to be two, we would end up with a perfect square. And so there are infinitely many 
possibilities. Now, when you first saw this expression, you might have mistakenly tried to factor the sum of cubes in the numerator and get some cancellation. That won't work because the denominator is a minus b, not a plus b. But what if this denominator was a plus b and we were asked the same question? For how many ordered integer pairs is this expression, but with a plus b, a perfect square? If the denominator was a plus b, then indeed we could start by factoring the numerator. A sum of cubes we can factor as a plus b in its own factor multiplied by a squared minus a b plus B squared. Of course, this is advantageous now because the a plus b in the numerator can cancel out with the a plus b in the denominator. Provided that a and b are not opposites so that the denominator is non-zero, we're thus left with a squared minus a b plus b squared. And the question is, for how many ordered integer pairs a b, can this be a perfect square? Again, the answer is infinitely many, which is seen immediately by setting b equal to zero and letting a be anything whatsoever. Certainly, if we say that b is equal to zero, and then to avoid our denominator problem, we'll have a not be zero, as long as those conditions are satisfied, then this expression would always be the perfect square, just a squared. So quick and easy little problem today. I hope you found it amusing. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to subscribe for more of the swankiest math videos on the internet.